y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel y'all I'm at the stamp and scrapbook expo 2024 I'm in Irving Texas I'm excited so anyway here we go it's gonna be fun I'm just centered inside got my show guide got my new pin this makes my third one so we're just gonna walk around and look this time and just see what I'm interested in I'm just gonna show y'all snippets. Things. Look at here. Stemperia. Oh, look at all these. All these die cuts and stickers. Thank you. I love it. 49 in market. love that. Y'all know I love Christmas paper. Y'all, look at this guy. That's so cute. I might come back for one of these. There's our darling. Creative Creations. These are from Art Journal. Look at these. Oh, Planner Essential dies. Wow. About to die, y'all. Look at these. And look at this ice cream truck. Look at this one makes donuts and hamburgers. Let's see the price. These are 24. Look at these. Oh sorry if I get out of frame. I'm not gonna buy until I look around. These are stinking darling. Some cute stamps. These are cute. Y'all know I love Christmas paper. Look at this. Beautiful. $7.95 for this. It's a little pricey. I was hoping for a little cheaper, but you know. And here's a Misty. This is a regular size. These are $70. There's one that's in the pink section. Be creative. Buy three, get one free adhesives. Hey, look, the Gemini Mini. How cute is it? I've always thought about getting a Mini. Bank Creations. Always can find good stuff there. There's a lot of people here, so I'm probably not going to film a whole lot. Card basis, ready to roll. Mouse. I remember them the last two years. Oh, thickers. Seven dollars each or four for twenty. Hmm, this might be something to stock up on.
this paper. Oh my goodness. Washi faux vinyl. Look at this. That's really, 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 really pretty. Sorry, y'all, if I get out of frame, please forgive me. You can get single sheets here. Look at this. <gasps> Isn't it, darling? Okay, these are $1.20 each. That is so cute. I'm going to look through these. Of course, when I get home, I'll show you what I got. Keep it simple is here. I remember them, and I actually got two of these last year. My mistake. Metal truck. So cute. That might be a possibility. Hey, look at this one. It's a backpack mini album. Art stencils. Look at all these. Oh, look. These stamps. Y'all, I'm excited. I love these. I will right, come back over here. These are dark. $14.99 a piece though. But they are so cute. So cute. Oh look, here's some bell paper. How cute. So cute. Look at that. Photo play. Always love this. They're four for twenty-four dollars. Sassy Club. Look at this. How cute. <laughs> Darling. Look. Oh, so cute. Hey, look, Scooby Doo. How cute. Let's see the price of these. Doesn't say. I don't know how much they are. Guess I'll find out. This whole section, everything's two dollars. Simple stories, <laughs> six by eight, or four for ten dollars. This is what I was really looking forward to. Scrappy Boy stamps. <laughs> Look. Look at Hansel and Gretel, Cinderella. How precious are these? And there's the coordinating dies. Oh my goodness. This one is called Mermazing. Oh my goodness. How cute. It's a mirror. Oh, oh my goodness. That one's $26.99. What is this? But over here we have all be I, oh my goodness, friends. Thank you for being friends. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The golden girl. I'm gonna have to get one of these goth girl. No, I don't care for that. But oh my goodness. Look at these, the golden girls. Oh, this is so cute. 
Let's see. Got some more here. Western girls, three pigs. Oh my goodness, y'all. These are darling. Warrior princess. Look, the lady die. Yeah, yeah, and I were very These are darling. Yeah, you need to work on them. Y'all. So cute. Focus, focus, y'all. Focus, focus. And we have Halloween pinup, cute girls' Christmas toys, Santa's workshop. Oh. My goodness, and here we go. So cute. Okay, I found my favorite shop, Faith and Art Shop. Are you the owner? Mm -hmm. What is your name? I'm Anne. Hi, this is Anne. Hey. Say hi to Anne. How are you guys? Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to show you all what I, what I bought from her and definitely go check her out. Okay, this is inside her shop. Oh my goodness, y'all. She just remembered me. So she's been watching my channel and so that people came and purchased from her. So definitely this is the best place to get some of these great items. Last year... I stocked up on a lot of paper. I still have some, so I didn't get this year, but I will definitely show you what I just purchased. Definitely, you will love the papers. Look, two for a dollar. Got devotional books. I love these coloring books. Devotional books for girls. Y'all, it's awesome. Awesome. Went to all the booths found some things that I like and now I think it's time to go should I go I think I should hey and I'm out of here I made two more stops and I'm done I've spent enough and I've had a lot of fun here we go Till next year. Hey y'all, so I made it home, made a stop at Chick-fil-A on my way home, ate in, the, ate in the car, or the truck, I was in my husband's truck, um, but anyway, y'all had a good time, I think I was there about two hours, and so forth, and um, yeah, it was a good, it was a good time, so whenever you get there, um, you of course got to pay your fee unless you purchase online, it was $12 for me to get in, so um, that was that and then you go over and you can give the little ticket they gave you and you can get a free tote bag and then they also give you the new button for the year so 2024 in the books it says i returned so i this is my third year in a row that i have done this so i was gonna go on saturday but i decided um i was off today so i decided to go ahead and go today today's Friday so anyway um, this is the bag that they gave I ended up not even putting anything in it because I had brought another tote bag with me but um, yep got this bag so let me move that out of the way this was the show guide this year and hopefully it's hopefully you can see that this one is the one for Irving Texas uh, March 22nd and 23rd um, these are the vendors that were there. Um, I went to Tall Mouse. Keep it simple. I didn't buy anything there. Um, I bought something there. Photo Play. I did not buy anything. Um, yeah, you'll see everything I bought. But let's see. Faith and Art Shop, y'all. Faith and Art Shop. I love, love, love that booth. I bought one item this time from there. And let me just tell you, my sister, she messaged me and she said, I was going to ask you if I could come with you. She lives on East Texas. And I'm like, well, next year, you know, I thought, hmm, if there was something else I needed, I could always go tomorrow because they are still open tomorrow. But yeah, I'll end up spending too much more money. So anyway, this was the vendors that were there and so forth. So 
yeah, it was a pretty good, it was pretty good. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, 28 vendors. So it was a good show. It really was. So this is where they're going to be next. Next, uh, in April 12th, they're 12th and 13th, they are going to be in Orlando. So if you're in that area, hit it up. So that's where they're going to be and so forth. And let's see here. There's some make and takes you can do. And this is the price of those. I did not do any make and takes, um, but yeah. Let's see here. Faith and Art Shop had the hands-on demo that will give you the opportunity to learn about Bible journaling. Oh man, next time I will do that. Okay, so this is this is a what I purchased, y'all. This I never bought from Scrappy Boy Stamps. Um, I guess because of however how much I spent, they gave me this free bag that is actually you can color it. Isn't that so cute? So it's the same on both sides. Okay, so and they got sucked in there, y'all. I really did. Some cute little stuff there. And um, they did have some things that were on sale. And if you bought stamps and dies, they were 15% off. Okay. So let's just start here. These were the little green tags. And I think these were five. No, these were $3. Um, so I picked up these. These were in the clearance bin, regular $9.99, but nice little things that you can use on your projects. And I thought those were pretty cute. Pretty cute. I really like this one. I wish they had more pink bows in there, but yeah. So pretty good little items there. So I got that. Um, this was also a clearance, and I think this one was $2. I think this one was two. It's either two or three, but I like the I like the 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 designs and everything. I thought it was pretty cute. So got that. Then the dies that I picked up, I found this one, the Candy House mini album. You don't have to make it a mini album, but I loved the size. There's my hand. You can see how big this is. See the the container that it comes in is almost 14 inches. Yeah, it's a almost 14 by 14 and a quarter. So all the pieces and everything, it, it gets pretty large. So I really, really did like that. I mean, I think I've got a, a, like one or two gingerbread houses, but not this big. I thought it was pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And I know it's not Christmas time, but y'all know I can't help it. I can't help it. Then I found this one. I thought it was so cute. It's a it's a boom box, y'all. And I thought that would be so cute. You can make a box out of it. And this could be like if you're doing something retro or something, this would be really, really cute. So I couldn't pass this one up. It's $22.99. Let me see how much how much he ended up giving it to me for. He gave me $3.40 45 cents off. Off of it. This one was $27.99. And I got $4.19 off. So not too too bad. Not too too bad. Now um this is the other stamp and die set that I got. I only got one of each of these because they're pricey. The dies here were $26.99. And the stamps, this is what the stamps look like. It was $22.99, but I could not pass this up. It's Hocus Pocus, y'all. I love Hocus Pocus. It's so cute. So just a bunch of Hocus Pocus, another glorious. Um, makes me sick. Birthday Halloween. I don't I don't really think I'd ever use shove it, Satan. Uh, don't get your knickers in a twist. I smell a birthday. So anyway, that's what they all look like. The stamps are cute, and these are the dies that go with it. So, really, if you're going to get these, I mean, you could fussy cut if you want, but it really kind of makes it easy if you're gonna, if you're if you're going to, um, if you're going to have these. So, so I grabbed that, and then they have like all these die cut packs, 
And these were $7.99 a piece. So, where's the other one? Here. Okay, so they also had like I Love Lucy. They have all the different kinds of different things they had. Um, if you saw earlier, they had like Friends. I mean, they had all kinds of different different shows. They had some Disney stuff or whatever. And y'all, they had Lucy. I Love Lucy. And so I picked up two packs of these. These were from the I Love Lucy. And I decided, you know what? I'm only going to buy one stamp and die because that was pretty expensive. But, you know, I could use these on cards. It's so cute. You can see this is what comes in there. So cute. I love, love, love this. So, and so I picked up two of them. I just had a fit. I loved it so much. And then this one is... Oh, this one is the Golden Girls. Oh my goodness, there's the Golden Girls. Let's pop this one open really fast. I We have to look at these. Let's see. So, look, we got the grandma. So cute. We got some little pieces of pie. Look at her. And look, oh my goodness, I love these. And there's the, there's the sister, the, or the older one. These are so sweet. Look at this. I remember the show. I remember the show with them doing these things. Love it. Don't you love her glasses? Oh my goodness. Let's go in a little closer, y'all. Y'all need to see these. So cute. So anyway, how many pieces do we get? Let's see. Quite a few. Quite a few. Now, I don't want to lose these. So let me see if it tells me 28 pieces. So, there's 28 pieces in the pack. Let's see if this one is also. This one's 43 pieces. So, I could not pass it up. I think it's cute. You could really make a fun card with these. Then they had this one. Um, it's Christmas. You can see there's Santa... You got some toys, the elves, and I thought those were super cute. I'm not going to pull every one out, but how cute are these? This one, this one was like an Easter theme. And I was just did my Easter swap, and I didn't buy any new paper. I just kind of used pastel type papers of what I did and so forth. And y'all know I did some sewing and stuff, but this one right here, I thought I could use this. Even I still... I still have time to make a card or two, and I could use some of these even this year. So, and then this one is, oh, this one is, let's open this one. I think this one is, hold on, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, y'all, Land of Oz, Wizard of Oz, y'all. Let's see. So you got the little witch. I loved these so much. There's the sweet scarecrow. Now, if you buy it like this, you don't have to buy the, the dyes and stuff. Then you didn't have to color them and stuff like that. And so, I wasn't going to do... Look, it's a tin man. Oh, these are precious. Look, the good witch. There she is. Isn't that precious? Ugh, I love these. I'm so glad I picked up these. These are darling. And if you don't want to use it for like a Wizard of Oz theme or whatever, and you got some rainbows and ruby slippers and stuff. But if you didn't want to do that, then um, you could always, you could always just use it for something else. It's fine. And then I picked up another, let's see, is this the same one I already got? Let me make sure. Yep, I picked up two of these. Just because, you know, y'all know I love Christmas. Okay, so that's all I picked up at the Scrappy Boy Stamp. I told the guy that was checking out, um, I said, well, I got to go out of here because I haven't even made it to any other booths yet. And I don't want to spend too much. He goes, it's okay with me if you stick around. And I'm like, well, thanks anyway. So, you know, I moseyed around. Oh, and y'all, I love the bag they gave me. He told me I could color it. So, I moseyed around, and I ran into one of my favorite stores, the Faith and Art Shop. 
and I bought this. This is all I bought from the Faith and Art Shop this time. I didn't buy any paper because I still have some. So I didn't want, um, I did not want to, let me go the other way. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to buy some if I already got it and so forth. But let me just say, if you saw the clip earlier, the sweet lady that checked me out, she is the owner. And here is their card, y'all. So here, here's their card. They're based out of Ohio. They're faithandartshop.com. You definitely, if you cannot go to the expo it, when it comes in your area, you can definitely check out their website. Here it is. I'll show you again. Faith in Art Shop. I love this because the sweet ladies that work in there. I mean, everybody was so nice, but they, they're they just always just the sweetest. And y'all, when I went to pay for, for, for this, she told me, she goes, you're Dina, right? And I'm like, yeah, she watches my videos. And she said she had watched recently because she was wondering if I was going to be coming to the, to the expo. And so I thought that was so sweet. And so anyway, she said she watches my videos and all that. But let me tell you, she said that last year, um, after it was all, after the expo was over, she said that she started getting so many orders of people ordering paper and different things like that. And she realized that I had talked about her shop on my channel. So she was so grateful. And so anyway, yes, you guys, if you need anything, they have the illustrative faith. They have all kinds of different Bible journaling. They have Bibles. They have everything. You will just love it. Here's the card again. Don't forget, if you can't go to the expo, definitely check out her shop, faithandartshop.com. You will love her and you will love all their products. Now, I picked up this. It's like an inspirational journal is on here. And I thought, well, I love it because it's colorful. And of course, it's got pink. So I love it. And so, you know, it's just like journaling. You can make notes in here. And this is what it is. It's just a book for you to write notes. Look, some pages are white and some pages are pink. And it's got Bible verses at the bottom as he, he has created us anew in Jesus Christ, so we can do all good things he planned for us. Ephesians 2, 10. Y'all, and every one of them. You are saved by grace through faith. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2, 8. Let's skip over. Let's see what else we can come find here. He gives power to the weak and strengths Strength to the powerless, Isaiah 40, 20. Y'all, I love this. And it was only $13.97. It was not bad at all. I love this. It's so beautiful. And so if I want to make notes of like what I'm creating, or if I just want to write my thoughts in here, I can do that. There's so much you can do. But definitely Faith in Art Shop, y'all. You won't be disappointed. Okay, so that is all I picked up at the Faith in Art Shop. And it was so sweet that she remembered me and she gave me this little pin. You fit into his plan. Y'all, you fit into his plan. You know, every t everything that we do, it's already been God's plan. You know, God already knows. So, okay, moving this over. Y'all, that's two shops and I had a ball. Two shops already and I had a ball. Okay, let me go to this one. I didn't buy from every booth. I bought from about five booths, five or six maybe. Okay, so then this booth, um, I can't remember the name of it, but they had all of these, like like um, if you saw earlier in the video, they had like the six by eight simple stories. They were like four for $10 or something like that. Well, these, these are like solids six by sixes. And this is the purple family. So I got the purple. It's Viola. This is Rouge. These were $2 a piece. I picked up all the colors because I loved all the colors. This one is called Sky. This one is called Blush. 
You know I had to get a pink one. Gorgeous. And this is the last one. This one's classic. And I really loved this. It's got white, some like taupe color, more gray, darker, and then black. I love it. Got them all. The guy, and you have, you could get four. If you buy four, you get them for $2, I think it was, four. And then um, the guy, and then if you buy like one on its own, it was like three fifty or something like that. Anyway, the guy ended up giving it to me for two dollars anyway. And then um, they did have some simple story stuff, and I love the dear the vintage Santa, so I picked up this pack. It was like two bucks. It was like very very inexpensive. Okay, so that was that. I stopped at Tall Mouse. I've I've shopped there every time. See, there's the tall mouse button. So I got another button. And from Tall Mouse, I only picked up two new bottles of glue, of art glitter glue, and two new pens tips. So let's see. Tall Mouse. This is their website right here. If you're interested. This is all I bought from there. After I went to this one 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 booth um, and bought some paper, I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm not gonna spend any more. I need to just leave. And then I saw they had art glitter glue. So I think I paid like $4 for each one of these. And I can't really remember how much the tips were. But yeah, so I got the tips and two new bottles of glue. And I bought the small bottles just because it's nice to have a nice fresh bottle of glue. Okay, and then at K&C Essentials, where I got these. Okay, hold on here. And my stickers off here is running a muck on me. Okay, so on this one, I found Berry Sweet and Dear Santa. Let's uh, take a look at Dear Santa first. These were $14.99. This booth, they were a little bit more expensive. This is by memoryplace.com. Uh, but anyway, I think it's so cute. I love anything Santa vintage-y like. Let's see if I can see one page in here. Y'all, going to the expo is so much fun. Oh, I don't want to tear it. Oh, Dana, you're tearing it. Dana is just tearing it. Okay. If the expo was just right down the street from me, I would contemplate going back if there was anything that I missed. But, you know, last year I did notice that there were... Oh, I can't get this open. There were some new store. There were a little bit more booths, I think, or maybe different booths this year. Come on. Okay, I'm trying not to tear my plastic too much. But there was a few booths that I shopped at last year. I did not see this year. But it's still great. And y'all, if we don't go to these expos, they're going to quit doing it because they're not making any money. So we need to. Okay, finally got it out here. Dear Santa, love. I love it. I love it. Y'all, it's so cute. It's my daddy. There's the back. Y'all, precious. So there's two pages here. And then here we've got a nice page. Look, you can cut this up, put it on a card or something. You can cut this, unless you do scrapbooking with 12 by 12. I don't, I don't do that, so. Go here, we got, looks like a bunch of stamps. Okay. And then, oh, that's so sweet. Look. Y'all, this is precious. And oh, look. Oh my goodness. I would have got like some ephemera packs with this, but they didn't have any. That, that part was empty, so I guess they already sold. And here we go. Cut apart to get two pages of those. Precious, 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 precious. I love it. 
Okay. Let me get this back in. I don't want this one going crazy on me. And then I picked up a 12 by 12 and an 8 by 8. It's called Berry Sweet. Oh, man. I am just making a little mess here. Come on. Get in there. I wish they'd come around and do these expos more than once a year in your area. Okay. There we go. I'm back in business. Okay, so I'm only going to open up this small one. It's 8 by 8 This was 11 This one was 14 Love the book here. Look at this. I think that the paper or the plastic it's in is flimsy. Look, it already tore. Oh, well. I'm just going to put in something else. But let's take a look. 18 pages. Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> look, y'all. Oh, look. So sweet. Oh, I am so glad I got the big one, too. Okay, you got three of each of those. And here we got this one. Got three of here. And then, oh, look at the, look at the camera. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, I love this. This could be my favorite purchase. Just precious. So three sheets there. And then a little truck. Look at the back. Oh, here's the back of this. Look at the back, y'all. This will be a very cute, like mini album. Be darling. Okay, so that is that. So I got the 8x8 and the 12 by 12 of this one. You know what's funny? Okay, so let me tell you a story about this booth. If I can get this back in here some kind of way. Um, so I was in line and there was a lady that was in front of me and she went to go pick up like some more faux leather or something like that. And, um, and, and the lady said, oh, well, you know, you can get, you can get one more. It's free. And so, okay. And that lady thought everything was like $4, but only like some of them were $4. It wasn't all of them. The lady's bill rang up to like $160 and she went, what? Oh my goodness. What? I didn't realize I spent that much. So anyway, needless to say, she goes, and I don't even know what I'm going to do with all this faux leather. <laughs> so we had to chuckle. I'm like, well, if it's any consolation, this is my last boot I'm going to. I'm leaving after this. So I spent enough. And then I went, oh, forget it. I need to go get some glue. But then I did leave after that. So, but anyway, bless her heart. She didn't realize that how much they were. And she bought something she doesn't even know what she's going to do with. So, okay. So then uh, I stopped at Echo Park. And I pit, did pick up some more enamel dots. Love, love, love these. These were $2 a pack. So grab some more of those. And I picked up 10 paper packs from them because y'all, you know, when we go on scrapbook.com, when we go on scrapbook.com, um, they cost us $15 for each pack. Okay. Oops. Let me move this a little bit more flatter here. And so these were, these, if you buy four, you got them for $28. But if you buy 10, you got them for 60. So you got two extra packs for almost, you know, for almost the price of buying two four packs. So anyway, I did pick up this one. It's all about a, it's all about a girl. And I loved the color scheme. Y'all, I may be 59, but I'm a kid at heart. And um, I still love girly things. And this, the color combinations of this just really took me here. So it's got, of course, all those pages and it comes with the sticker sheet. So this one is, it's got 12 pages and the sticker sheet. So this one is All About a Girl by Lori Whitlock. And then this one, I really liked this one too. It's kind of soft, very springish, like a day in a life. Thought it was really pretty. These are the sticker sheet, the stickers that come with it. And of course, 12 by 12, 12, 12 by 12s. 
And then I picked up Little Dreamer. I love this one. I love the color combination of this one as well. So pretty. I haven't made any albums in a while. I think it's about time to do a few. I just think it's fun. And then, you know, summer's going to come, so we'll need some kind of summer paper. And I thought, well, this will save me from having to order on scrapbook.com. So this one's I Love Summer, and you've got the swimsuits, pineapples. You've got fun, fun, fun. Look, a little girl floating. Oh, we should look at that one. Okay, hopefully. Look, there she is. Okay, hopefully I can get this out without killing the plastic. Okay, let's see if we can find the one with the girl floating. And I don't even know. This was a 2019. It's not even a new one. Look at that. Got the pineapples. Like if you went to Hawaii, you could do an album or something. Or some kind of tropical. Hello, Summer. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. I'm trying to get to it. They got some... Some little toucans, is that what those are called? Toucans. Love, love, love. This is very bright and beautiful. Love this page with the bikes. It's definitely beautiful. Got some beach balls on the back. You've got some cut aparts toes in the sand. Oh, here it is. And that's so sweet. I love that. So cute. And they got swimsuits. Oh, I love this one. This was a good pack. It really was. They had tons, 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 tons. The guy told me, are you going to be around at 2 o'clock? And I said, no, I'll probably be gone by then. He said, oh, okay, well, if you, if you are, come back. I'll give you a ticket to be in our drawing. And they were doing a drawing for something at 2 o'clock. But I knew I would not be around. Uh, I live in Dallas, and it is a Friday. So you don't want, you want to make sure you get back to your neck of the woods before that rush hour traffic. Okay. So there's that one. And then in case I wanted to do a baby boy album, I found this one. Hello, baby. It's a boy. And that's so cute. Love, love, love that plaid. These are the stickers. And then hello, baby. It's a girl. Look at it. It's got little one, like little sleepers. So cute. Love this. So cute. And then my favorite, Spring. Love this is beautiful. Look at the bees. This is gorgeous. And here is the stickers. And then gather it home. Not the colors I normally go for, but I really thought that this was like really pretty. I don't really love this color. I like the black pages. Um, I like most of it. I'm not a fan of that. I don't really love that color, but it's not my style. But there we go. This one's super cute, though. Love the bug. This one. Oh, this one was a Cardabella. And this one has 12 sheets and a sticker sheet, just like the others. Okay. Feels a little thicker. Then this one, I thought this one was kind of funny. Family night. So if you ever wanted to do something like you're having family night, look, it's got bingo cards. I thought this was super fun. Very retro-y like. And I'm um, super, look, you got life. Let's look at this one really fast. I've got to see that. So cute. Okay. And this is Cartabella as well. Just remember Cartabella, the paper, the texture of the paper feels a little different. But how fun is this? Very cute. You have the little life spinner, but they're not calling it life. Very cute. And look at the retro. Now, at the Scrappy Boy stamps, they had a retro television um, die cut. Really kind of wish I would have got it. Um, I love that. Oh, my goodness. So cute. Color slides. This is really, really fun. I really like this. Very cute.
And you got some soda pops. That's so cute. It's a whole game board. And then you got bingo. Oh, look at this one. It's all the fun foods. I really am glad I got this. It is so cute. There's the back, but isn't that darling? And then this one, Midnight Creature Feature. So this is like, tells you what's on. <coughs> Excuse me. You remember back in the day when we could get a TV guide? That's what it reminds me of. That's what it's like. And then you have your stickers, of course. I love this. I am so glad I got it. I love it. So that one is called Family Night. If you can get your hands on it, it is worth it. That's cute. Okay. I really wanted to focus on, like, seeing if I could get some different kind of papers. Because I haven't really been buying much paper. And, um... Like I didn't, like I said, I didn't buy anything, any for Easter. I just kind of used what I have and so forth. And I don't really buy it. Only paper I've recently bought was when I purchased from the stamp market and I bought this, the, their little eight by eight by sixes or whatever. And then this one is, oh, happy day. Love this. Look at the little hats. Okay. This one was from 2020. Um, the Family Foam Night was also from 2020. Let's take a quick look at this one. Okay, so, oh, beautiful. Oh, look at this. That's cute. And you've got cut aparts, little birds. Very sweet. That's really cute. Now, I have to say that I like Family Fun Night better than this one. Ooh, I like the hats and I love this. It's beautiful. That's really pretty too. It's fun. Come on, let me see what else is behind here. And there we got some cut aparts. Pretty. I like it. I like it not my favorite one but I I still like it but I picked it up and I actually you know if you I got 10 of these for $60 so really you got them for what four bucks a piece which was a pretty good deal so not too bad approximately four don't don't check my math on me so anyway, that is what I picked up, y'all. It didn't go too overboard. I gave myself a budget, and I had to stick to my budget. I think that my favorite thing is really this very sweet paper. Oh my goodness, it's darling. And I absolutely, absolutely love my little journal from, from the, um, this one right here from the Faith Art, Faith and Art Shop my favorite. I love this so much. So I got a little variety of different things that I don't have in my craft space. So I'm glad for that. Now there was a bunch more stuff that I could have got my hands on if I really, really, really wanted to, but I had to stay in a budget, had to, had to be careful. So anyway, I really had a great time. I really, really did. And, um, of course I will go back next year um, I thought this year I was off today and I was going to go tomorrow, but then I just said, you know, I'm off. Let me go ahead and just, let's just go Friday. So I told my husband, I said, you know, um, I think I'll go on Friday since I'm off. He's like, oh, go ahead, have fun. Um, but anyway, I just really, really enjoyed myself and there's probably a lot more stuff that I could have snagged, but I didn't. So, um, anyway, I really, really enjoyed myself. It was a lot of fun, a lot of great vendors there. People were so nice. And, um, yeah, you definitely, if it comes to your area, don't forget to check it out because definitely it was a lot of fun. Um, so like for me, like I said, it was $12 for me to get in. And um, it was $12 for me to park. So getting in the door and parking cost me $24. But it was worth it. It's so much fun. And it was packed out with people. It really was. So 
really had a great time. Um, I don't know, you never know. If my sister ended up wanting to come down tomorrow, I would say, okay, sure, let's go back. That would kind of be dangerous though, but I probably won't. I'll probably just stick to once a year and everything. Anyway, lots of fun, lots of fun. And I just really, just really, just really enjoyed myself. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this shopping at the expo. Just y'all, if you can go to your expo, go here. Here's the schedule again. And um, yeah, so it's going to be going on again tomorrow here. There's two in April, um, Florida and Virginia, and then it's going to go to Colorado and so forth. So it's making its way around. And um, actually, this one's the only one for Texas. So if you're in Texas and you wanted to hit this, you still got tomorrow. Um, so if you're, if you're interested, you still got tomorrow to go, um, in Irving, Texas. Anyway, thanks so much, everyone. I love you guys. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.